So what happens if you drop a needle on a table and that table has a series of parallel lines drawn on it? What are the chances that uh, the needle will land on one of those lines after it's dropped? Well, the answer to that question has a lot to do with the number pi. Turns out this is one way to calculate pi, which is different than how we usually think of pi, um, which is uh, the, the relationship of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Now, in this case, the length of a needle is exactly one half the width between the lines. So the needles are colored green if they land on a line and blue if they don't. So we can see that we still don't have a very good approximation of pi with all of these needles. And after 10,000 of these needles, our approximation is only 3.1555. So we'll need a lot of needles in order to uh, calculate pi, as well as a lot more time.